11th of June, 1982. There's one older fellow at work named Ed. Very few people at that petty Peyton place get along well with Ed, but I take exception. I must be tolerant. If I fail to get along with somebody, then that's my failure. Letting Ed's strange ways bother me might be would be my own defeat. I strive for success always. I think Ed has lived a life of much emptiness and he just gets lonelier with each tick of the clock. He is a cynical, frustrating old man for his own protection. He wants no part of the callousness around him. I understand the man perfectly and I cannot dislike him. The lonely old man needs to be around people who will reawaken him to life. These sparkling, fresh people are not easy to find, but I know one named Martin Fuchs. He is a very special kind of person. From our first conversation, I saw that Martin is witty, reachable, and different. He is a person whose company I could never tire of because every new day brings something new. Someday Martin will be a great artist. He cannot see the limits of his talents and abilities. I would be very proud to be his close friend. Carl has found a true and dear friend. Whether Carl freely admits it or not, Bill Evans is the best friend he has ever had. Carl's friend is kind and polite, rare qualities for a young person these days. It could be said that Bill's moods are a trifle interchangeable, but we all have our days. I just hope Carl can be a good enough friend to seek to understand Bill's, Bill's moods. True friendship is harder to find, harder still to obtain. What do I know about friendship? It has eluded me for too many years, leaving a trail of half-remembered names and never-to-be-seen-again acquaintances. I find it very difficult to make friends. Perhaps I never go far enough, or maybe I go too far and push too hard. Whatever the reason, I am most often alone or in the company of faceless strangers. Failed friendships are merely tests in life to allow a person to be more humble, patient, and honest. I just keep on trying, hoping.